Hi, everybody. Uh, happy Monday. It's Beth Minardi, and I'm I want to thank you so much for joining our group today. We have over 100 people who are wonderful colorists, uh, and they're watching this now. And this might be this in about a week. This will be up on YouTube. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I love teaching you. Um, aside from coloring hair, teaching hair is one of my my joys. And I've recently taught, I had a wonderful group in Naples, Florida, and I want to thank so many of them who drove some of my hours to get there. Um, next class is in Bend, Oregon. Then I'll be in New Jersey. I'll be in Pittsburgh. And then I'm going to go to Memphis, Tennessee to round out the year. So most of you are members on my Facebook group page or on my website. And I know everybody at the Beechers keeps you up to date on things. But thank you for joining Beauty Fusion 101. And uh, this little bottle uh, is an incredible bag of tricks. But before I start talking about this, I want to talk about the subject in general. And a lot of us have been doing this for a while. Now, I was kind of, I guess, in high school when my mother was watching a television show that Vidal Sassoon was on. And a lot of hairdressers were mad at Vidal because he did away with their bread and butter business, which I thought, what's that? Uh, the lady who came in with a helmet head, after they untangled it, they washed it sort of, and they cranked it back up in rollers and she didn't touch it for a week. Vidal made it so that women were wearing a great haircut, washing it and blowing it out themselves. And that, that color that was supposed to be a semi-permanent that lasted one month didn't last a month. Why? Because women were washing their hair more than once a week. So these semis that would hold on for four weeks would wash off. The interesting thing that happened with semis like Beautiful Browns or any of the um, semis from other companies, um, what would happen is when women would apply these roots to ends and the ends were porous, the ends would grab darker and the roots would stay light. And um, women would say, I had my husband using dark ash brown. Our bed is now dark <laughs> brown when he sweats. And um, he puts it on roots to ends and the ends of my husband's hair are purple. Well, that was semi-permanent color and it served its purpose for a while. Then you guys remember jazzing and cellophanes, which were still semis. You mix them with nothing, but they were a step forward. They held better, they had shine. They had polymers in them, et cetera. Now, I remember a long time ago when Revlon had a color that tons of colorists were using called Revlon Young Hair. It was a demi-permanent. It was came in a, in a bottle and it came with a box of crystals. Those crystals were were powder five volume developer. So people, uh, you know, I lived in Florida and wealthy women were going to New York before I moved to New York, having their hair done with Michael Stinchcomb. He was using Revlon Young Hair to cover the gray with no lift, demi-permanent. Then he would highlight them. Everybody loved it and that product went crazy. So Clairol and Redken and others decided, how can we make something that will cover or blend hair enhance hair, do a tint back, but not bleach out the still pigmented hair. So they came up with different things. Clairol came up with something called second nature, which had no lift, but was highly alkaline. But if a woman had dark brown hair with gray and you applied dark blonde to her hair, the gray would turn dark blonde. The brown hair would stay the same and it looked like she had highlights. Then um, Igora from Schwarzkopf, and, sh and Shades EQ, and even before that, Goldwell's Colorance, which was a wonderful product. Again, very acidic, no gray coverage, but gray blending, and a demi. It was very acidic and expensive, as, as it is now. Um, so, and I've used, I have to tell you, you know I worked on Shades EQ for a long time. It's an excellent brand. You know I worked at Rusk and Deep Shine. Um, I worked with the Joyco. And um, I've, I've used every demi. And of course, there are more alkaline demis, which we can turn Beauty Fusion into, but that's not the subject today. More alkaline demis are like Wella Color Touch, L'Oreal, Richez. Um, and those are, those are in a different category. Those are a little different. But I want to talk to you about the thing that I think changed. If I were stranded on a desert island, I would ask for two kinds of color, bleach and liquid demi. You know why? I could bleach the hair first to lighten it a little, a little more or a lot, and then put on a liquid demi, double process color. But this stuff is great because you know why? An acidic liquid demi, acidic, 
liquid cannot damage the hair, cannot damage the hair. There is no, this, our product doesn't even have an alkalizer in it. Shades EQ has MEA in it. This little bottle has none, zero, but it does have an amazing dye load and it does have protective oils. What I learned this week about protective oils is the following, and it applies to nails, skin, and hair. When you use precious plant oils with a low molecular weight, as we have in Beauty Fusion, they go in and they allow the, the different strata or layers of keratin to be a little uh, impregnated with that and they can shift. So while protecting the hair, that scalp shifts a little bit. And while protecting the cuticle and the cortex, the hair becomes a little more pliable. And that's what allows this product to penetrate so well without irritation. Beauty Fusion is an acidic liquid demi color. It cannot lift the hair, but it can match or darken the hair. Beauty Fusion is mixed with equal parts of Beauty Fusion developer called OxyMilk, five volume. Just like Shades EQ's five volume, this is five volume. An ounce of color, an ounce of five volume. Two ounces of color, two ounces of five volume. This takes pretty fast. If somebody's very, very porous or very, very bleached, a toner might take in five to eight minutes. The maximum development time would be 20 minutes on virgin hair, no heat necessary. And I know other brands requ require heat or ask for heat at times. This product glides into the hair. And in the developer, we have something called Zamea, which is a plant extract from corn that actually does help condition the hair. And I won't tell you, but if you use this with other brands, it really does make the hair a really great condition, okay? So the interesting thing about Beauty Fusion liquid acidic demi color, and it can morph into other products, but let's talk about this lovely little bottle. This mixed with five volume is like Paul Mitchell, the liquid, uh, Shades EQ, Ruskin 10, but the performance is mind blowing and the shine is intense. I discovered this through uh, one of our associates named Sebastian, because he's a member of, like many of you are members on my Beth Minardi um, group, Facebook group called Beth Minardi Conversations with with Colorist by Beth Minardi, it's free. All you have to do is ask to join and you're in. We have 5,000 members from around the world and my website, Deeper ed Education, is only 25 bucks a year. It's Beth Minardi All Access. These guys, I started having rashes. How many of you have ever seen a woman who you've retouched ask for a, a, a rat tail comb and she's doing this while the color's on? Now, maybe you haven't, I have. Yours, I see you raising your hand, hi. It got, to, and I color hair every day. I have no problems, but when I started doing my own retouches, I would start feeling a little uh, tingly feeling that night in my head and I ignored it. Time went on and oh my God, I would get a rash on my stomach and chest right after I did it. And the next day my head was just burnt, like it was not good. And I thought, well, I can do what I do to some of my clients. I'll just foil wrap myself and whatever gray stays out, that's okay. Until I discovered that I could use Beauty Fusion, apply it all over, process it for 30 minutes at room temperature and blend my gray better than any other liquid demi. And if I use our alkalizer, which is another topic, it would cover gray 100%. So the gentleness and in, in addition to the very rich dye load, and if you ever use Formisa, you're aware of the term pigment weight. Pigment weight means how much pigment they put in the bottle. Pigments are non-water soluble. So they really do, the more pigment in a color, the more expensive it is, the more long lasting it is, and the better your a deposit of the color and longer lasting. Um, this is what I use to refresh all my clients' faded ends, to tone pre-lightened hair globally, to tone highlights, or to perform tint backs. And I don't use this as a filler. I fill with this when I'm tinting back, and then I use a deeper shade of Beauty Fusion to do the final tint back. And those of you who follow me on Beth Minardi, um, on my conversations group, 
and on my website, get the formulas all the time. And I know I just did a new one for Beecher called Beth's Basics, which Damien's printing for me this week. So you'll be getting about 15 formulas of, you don't need everything. Beth's Basics show you how to get started. But um, I will tell you that this is an amazing product. And this bottle is not a two ounce bottle. It is a three ounce bottle. So this is a three ounce bottle of color. And by the way, it's biodegradable. All of our packaging is biodegradable. And um, at this point in history in our world, our, in our earth, I don't know how you feel, but I have a daughter who's a young woman, and maybe you have kids or nieces, nephews, grandchildren, and I wonder why I'm living in Houston, Texas, and it's 105 degrees today. And without getting into politics, I just will say um, it was never 105 degrees uh, in New York City. Uh, in the end of August, and my daughter's roasting up there. So uh, yeah, it's hot in the summer and all that stuff, but biodegradable helps. It's also vegan. We do have clients who are worried about vegan, and we do have many, 90% natural products. So the word natural means derived from nat nature. It doesn't mean you can eat it. This is not certified organic. Certified organic has to do with th things that are edible. This is, this is a natural product. It has a high degree of organic and natural products, but the dye load is what makes the damn color work like crazy and shine. I use this either app in an applicator bottle or bowl and brush. The consistency is not too liquidy and not too thick. So when I joined the company, Annie Beecher asked me, she sent me all the literature and I found it quite attractive, but I thought it was a little confusing for American people with all the, the pictures and stuff. So I, what I did is you can all get these for free and I'm sure everybody listening to this has this. I wrote this book of beauty fusion hair color used as a liquid acidic demi color. I called it chapter one. Now you can call your Artego representative or the Beecher Group or Elisa or Damien today to get this for free. You can download it or it comes to you on paper. And I told you everything you need to know to use this as a demi-permanent acidic color. It is free. And when you buy the intro pre-pack of Beauty Fusion, not only is chapter one included, but also chapters two and three, okay? This is the kind of material I will be discussing on September 11th in, in Bend, Oregon, on October 16th in Pittsburgh, on October 30th in, in um, New Jersey, and on November 13th in Memphis. I also write to you almost every single night on my, my uh, social network every time, all the time and on my website. Please, if you don't have this book, you're gonna be confused. When you turn it on the back, there's a big list of every single intermixable shade in Beauty Fusion that can be used as a liquid acidic demi. So if it's on the back of this sheet, you know that you can intermix any of these shades and create beautiful results, okay? One of the first ones I ever used, and I know a lot of you um, might be doing pastel blondes now. If you're here, if I can raise your hand if you're doing any high lift blondes, if I can see nobody's doing high, you, one. Okay. If you're doing high lift blondes and you don't want them to be warm, but you don't want them to look silver and awful, you know, too drab like, like uh, gray, we have two shades that I recommend that never will fail. And here's what they are clear. So in a bottle, you mix an ounce and a half of clear and a half ounce of our palest pale blue, which is a level 9.11, nine blue blue. So an ounce and a half of clear, a half ounce of nine blue blue, and two ounces of five volume developer. When you apply that to a, a pre-lightened blonde, oops, I got to turn this off. Um, sorry, guys. When you apply that to pre-lightened hair or to very, very, or to a blonde who comes in for a haircut and she says her hair is looking brassy, I would first shampoo her with a clarifying shampoo. Then I would use this formula, the ounce and a half of clear, the half of 9AA, roots to ends on that damp hair, let it process for only five minutes, rinse, quick shampoo and condition. It's like a mere, uh, cool. Okay. 
Those of you, anybody out there doing redheads? Hear it for me, redheads, nobody? Okay, um, you're doing reds, okay. If there's, I'm gonna give you a red formula that's light and warm, and it will, it think of Julianne Moore, her hair, okay? Um, think of, well, sometimes Nicole Kidman. Um, we have a level 12 gold. Hi, Gretchen. When you mix equal parts of 12 gold and our level seven copper copper, you've created like a level nine peach. It's great. So an ounce of 12 gold, an ounce of seven copper copper, five volume developer, roots to ends, five to seven minutes. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And of course we have other reds as well. We have natural violets. We have um, beautiful colors in all the ranges. And in this book, we take you through every single shade. If I had an hour and a half with you today, as I would like, I'd like to take you through every shade with my little blackboard. Okay, here's what you're going to hear from some people. I want you to think back a long time ago. Remember, maybe when I was a little kid and kids had a birthday at school and the mom would bring cookies or cake or something, right? Now you can't bring anything because they said you're going to kill one of the kids. Everybody's allergic to everything. Okay. We are very aware of sensitivities. And I don't like to use the word allergic until a doctor sends a client in with a note that says allergic. And if a client ever says allergic, believe them. Don't pull anything. We're, our brand contains no PPD, no paraphenyl diamine, which is something many people are sensitive to, no alcohol, no DEA cocoamide, no resource and all, and no MEA, monoethanol amine. But the color works like gangbusters. I believe liquid demi color is so wonderful because what it does, and it is not a semi, it is not a long lasting semi. Semi means no developer, demi, D, D, demi developer. This is five volume, very conditioning developer, okay? This product not only penetrates the cuticle, we have found that there is a new layer of cuticle. This is science. This has nothing to do with brand. They call it the interspatial air zone, which they've got to come up with a better air. So that cuticle is really trying to protect the hair. The, um, our color, Beauty Fusion, penetrates the cuticle and coats the outside of the cuticle. It keeps going in and it completely coats and penetrates that interspatial area or zone. And then it adheres to the cortex. Listen to this, it adheres to the cortex. So while it doesn't really penetrate the cortex because it's not alkaline, it does adhere beautifully. And it does not, sometimes people will say, gee, I glazed that lady and two days later she called, she washed her hair, it's gone. First of all, applying a liquid demi like Beauty Fusion should be damp hair. Damp hair does not mean it's dripping into the sink and you haven't put a towel on it. You're laughing because I've, been, I've seen assistants, the hair is dripping in the sink and they take 75 pumps of conditioner, put that on, well, in the name of God, or well, I shouldn't say that, dear God, that makes a mess. The same thing with permanent, with color. When you're applying a demi, after the hair's been rinsed completely, take a towel and not just pat, we twist the hair into the towel. Twist, twist, twist. When you let go, there should be no dripping. Then we apply the Beauty Fusion formula. If, if I'm doing a retouch or if I'm doing highlights uh, or an all over glaze because I blonder, I don't do it at the sink. I make her sit up. There's no way you can get the back of that head with it just doing the roots or applying evenly with her head back in the sink. I know that sounds like a lot of work and it is, but it's the best way to do it. Apply the um, Beauty Fusion starting at the scalp, working it onto the ends, massaging with both hands with gloves on, la la la, five to seven minutes, the hair's beautifully restored. And if you are refreshing faded hair lengths, while the reach hutch is on the hair, on the root, and I have 15 minutes more to go, let's say it's been 30 minutes and I'm gonna leave my retouch on for 45 minutes. I start putting my 
beauty fusion retouch uh, refresh on those ends while the hair is processing. So now I don't have to do it separately at the sink, okay? If you want to, you can spritz the hair lightly with a little water, apply the beauty fusion, and then when your timer goes off, off she goes to the sink. And you know that I love the Vaso uh, Argan shampoo and conditioner. I think they're like God's gift and they're extremely, extremely, extremely exclusive. So um, that's kind of the beginning of all that. And I know Annie had a few questions about Beauty Fusion. So from Robert Pesci to every, oh, hi, Robert. How are you, darling? Um, so what's up, guys? What's your experience? And by the way, this is $7.95 for three ounces. It's not $9.95 and it's not almost $11. It comes to you in your salon. You do not have to go to a store to pick this up. It gets right sent to your salon. Any questions, Annie? Yes, Bill Baker, and if you can't answer oh, this, I can. He wants to know the shelf life of this product. When the bottle is unopened, it's indefinitely. When yes. the bottle has been opened and it's at least half full and the cap's back on, six months. Yes. That's a good question, Bill. Hi, babe. All right, let's see. Um, Somebody asked about a transition sheet chart from a Aligo, I don't even know this color, Aligo Calora. Al Al Aligo, yeah. Yeah, that's from Susan Leroy. Yes, here's the thing about cheat sheets. <clears throat> there are no exact matches with any color. There are no, people will tell you it's pretty close. What I would ask Susan to do is tell me, she can write to me, tell me the color she is applying to, the level and tone, the desired level and tone, and what she's using now. That's the best way for me to help her. And all she has to do is come to um, my, my Facebook page, which is Conversations with Top Color Professionals. Happy to help her. No cheat sheets. I've worked for so many companies for, everybody wanted a cheat sheet. And then when you give them one and there wasn't an exact match, well, yeah, there aren't exact matches. If I'm, if I'm Artego, if I'm Beauty Fusion, why do I want to exactly match Wella? No, I do want to make the transition easy. As many of you know, some client, some companies, you look at it, they tell you that that's their level six. And you look at it and say, wow, that looks like a level four to me. So I'm here to, my job with this company is to help you and you to transcend to slowly and then very, very quickly become very, very comfortable with this color. But thanks for asking, Susan. I'll help you. Hi, right, Casey. DJ, I'm not sure what the, what's the VA? What's the VA mean? VA, vegan. Or violet, or is she talking about the color chart VA? I don't know. It's what's the well, on the color chart. We have violet, we have violet ash. We have also VA on the front means vegan. Vegan approved. There were studies done on this color in the university in Palermo, Italy, and they got all sorts of wonderful accolades and, and as far as certification regarding that what we say about the product is indeed true. Mm -hmm. And here's a nice comment from Chris Zamastil says, I'm loving the shine and condition when the client comes back and my clients have been so happy. <laughs> Chris is one of our educators, and Annie, he was one of our teachers in our recent class in Chicago. Ah, Chris okay. is amazing. He was on my team for my own brand and for um, color, to, uh, color Fusion for Redken. He's an amazing colorist. He works in Chicago, and now, ever since he worked with us at the show in Chicago, he's just crazy about Beauty Fusion. And uh, on my post, you've seen a couple redheads and, and brunettes that he's done. He's exquisite. So thank you, Chris. And you yeah. know, when the client comes back and says her hair is shinier, feels better, um, remember, and I love Shades EQ. Shades EQ contains MEA and it contains alcohol. 
Now that's okay. It's it's I didn't say it's a bad product, but sometimes hair can get dry from anything. And some alcohols are cool alcohols. Some alcohols, I, I try right now because I've had this, this rash on myself. And I know I don't speak for everybody. I'm just so glad that I'm comfortable. And today I'm going to the salon. I'm making a video using Beauty Fusion. We're going to cover my gray and I have plenty of it. Oh! And then um, an amazing educator named Vanessa is going to foil wrap my whole head and make me a brunette base with a lot of red in it. So we're going to make that and it'll be available to you. All right, here is- thank, thank you, Chris. I love you. All right, question from Tina Reagan. Is the color single batch or multi-batch? I think that's how many applications can you get out of a bottle? Well, that how many applications depends on what kind of hair. If somebody has seven hairs on their head and their hair is buzzed down to the wood and it's a crew cut, you get five applications. <laughs> Most people, an ounce of color and an ounce of developer is perfect to do a toning or a refreshment. But if somebody has hair down almost to their waist and, and it, it's so thick that it, you can't put a ponytail around it, I would say three ounces plus three ounces. If she's using a lot of people, have you ever noticed, guys, if you own or manage a salon, when people finish an application, what you look at in that sink that's going to go down the drain? I have. I can't believe that uh, pounds of bleach and pounds of color go down that drain every day. Uh, Beauty Fusion, because of this developer, is very slippery. It's not cakey and it's not watery, but it's slippery. And when you even use your fingers and mush it down, it a little goes a long way. So for today, when we refresh me, it'll be an ounce and an ounce. Okay, so three applications. Good question, though. Yes. There are three ounces in this bottle. When you hold this bottle at eye level and hold it completely horizontally, you have poured out one and one half ounces. All right, nice comment from Randy Kirsch, who I have known for like 30, 40 years. Yeah. About time that professionals are waking up to the great value of these products. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Um, I used to try to not look at price and I always, because I work with companies would get a lot of products for no charge. And now I see, I mean, I, uh, you know what, it's not, companies are not trying to be greedy. Um, there are big giant companies have to spend a lot of money on promotion, education, and different spiffs to their salespeople, or they'll go out of business. And like all products, good raw materials have gone up. We're very happy that we're able to remain at 7.95 at this point for three ounces. And remember, in our next lessons, I'm going to teach you how to add something to this to make it into color touch or riches. And in another lesson, I'm going to tell you how to add two other things to this to turn it into permanent dye. Hey, but that's going to answer little, the next question. This, I'm Go sorry, ahead. Annie. I said that will answer the next person's question, but continue that. Okay, so I'm sorry. I want you in chapter one, you know, if, okay, we must learn to float in the pool before we do the Australian crawl. If we're learning to ride a horse, we have to learn how to mount and walk the horse properly before we canter and jump. In hair color, if, if I owned a school, the first thing I teach every kid is bleach. Why? It only does one thing, lighten hair. If I had a, the second thing I'd teach them is liquid demi color. Why? It only darkens the hair. Right, Annie? Yep. Okay. So the next question, everybody go like, blah, 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 if you don't want to get confused, but what's the next question about how to use this another way? It says, how many shampoos will this, this is Robert Petschi. How many shampoos will this generally last? How long do you recommend processing time? And here's my favorite part. Do you recommend as a replacement for color fusion? That's Redken color fusion. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, yes. But first, Robert, you're, you and your staff did come to my class in uh, Chagrin, Ohio, and I was thrilled to see you. I will help you replace color fusion, and it's not difficult. But how many shampoos will this last for? It depends. 
if you processed it correctly, if I'm going to blend gray, Robert, I'm going to leave it on the roots only for 30 minutes at room temperature. I'm going to take eighth of an inch partings and I'm going to apply. You saw me apply with a bottle, eighth of an inch, and I go back with the brush and do my tap in. You not, you guys who come to my classes know I do that. You can also choose to apply it with a bot with a bowl and brush. Every hair that's not covered with formula will not cover. That's it. I cover with a plastic bag, give her a magazine, a glass of wine, and let her sit there for 30 minutes. Then I emulsify, hit it with water, bring it and take it right off. That will, hair grows about three millimeters a day. So that blending of gray will look very nice for three or four or five weeks, depending on the lady's rate of growth. If you fin if you glaze the hair and refresh fade it, I never, ever, 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 ever refresh hair using permanent dye. I think that's like trying to go to California from New York today in a wagon train rather than taking a jet. I know it's the cheap way to do it. I know it's the way we were taught in beauty school to add water or shampoo or filler. That's before this ever it was invented. This before this was invented. And if that's what works for you, fine. But let's step into the year 2023. This pampers the hair. The more alkalinity we bring over the hair, the more we beat it up. When you only bring acid down here, and this is pampered, this hair does not go brownish, it doesn't get yucky, and it doesn't feel like steel wool, or spaghetti when wet, brillo when dry. It really helps. Robert, if somebody has thick, coarse, dense hair, and you're, on, and you're glazing it uh, to refresh ends, I'd leave it on 15 minutes. If somebody has regular hair, fine to medium, I'd leave it on 7 to 10 minutes. Then I would um, you know, rinse shampoo and condition. If I'm toning a double process blonde, she's been pre-lightened to yellow or pale yellow, I detangle everything and I seat her in the chair with her damp hair. I apply my beauty fusion formula only to the regrowth area, only to the like the first inch, inch and a half of hair. And I give it like seven, eight minutes. I then take my tint brush and I bring it down the hair lengths about three quarters of the way, give her two or three minutes, take her to the sink and then rinse. It works great. I hope that helps. Right. And yes, you can replace color fusion. Color fusions, I made color fusion. It's a good line. Um, yes, you can replace color fusion. And remember this, everyone, and I wrote this last night or two nights ago, if you ever read my posts, just because a company makes 110 shades, you do not need them. You do not need 100, unless you have a huge staff a huge clientele, tremendous, like you have to make purple, green, blue, orange, and fantasy shades, as well as, look, I'll tell you, in hair color companies, the, the biggest selling shades are levels six, six, seven, and eight. The next big sellers are levels five, and um, I'm not, yeah, I'm sorry, five, six, seven are the biggest sellers. Levels four and eight are the next big ones, and the and then followed by that high lift. When I first started to teach Redken Shades EQ, they had 35 shades. And those 35 shades worked great. People intermixed. Why do I need a gold iridescent when that's gold primarily with a little violet in it? Why do I mix an ounce and a half of a gold and a half of violet? Unless you disagree with me thoroughly and you think that creates a completely different shade. I am not here for you to give up or to think I disparage any line. I don't, I don't. I am just telling you that this has made a difference in my salon life. And that's why I love teaching it. My frustration is, and when I spend a day with you in class, you get a diploma, you get lunch, you meet others. But the whole thing is it takes me a whole day to teach you every single thing this does. And then you get to help me do models and you get to help me do swatches. So you spend $299 or $325 for the day. But when you walk out, you know what you're doing. Yeah. So, you know, and I'd love host salons mean I come to your salon that is not a four chair salon where we can have four students. If you can accommodate 25 to 35 people, there is adequate parking. Your salon is lovely and open-spaced. 
I come and I take tuitions and I inter invite 25 to 30 people who pay a tuition. People who work for you can attend at no charge and you get to keep the product we send and you get to be a host, which is great for social media and wonderful for other people to see your lovely salon. And uh, that's what Damien, who helps me and Elisa and I are doing. We're going in a couple of weeks to Bend, Oregon to this beautiful big, I've never been to Bend, Oregon. I've been to Portland, but I'm looking forward to spending time with 30 amazing colorists. And that's what I do. So, you know, and I hope that, it, you know, somebody wanted a class in Tennessee. So I put one in Memphis and they said, well, that's not good. I, I need one in Knoxville. Well, you know, I... I, I have other, I have two other wonderful teachers who can help as well, but uh, that goes through Annie Beecher, who so kindly accommodates people. Anybody else? Yep. This is from Salvatore Minardi. Hi, Beth. Hey, Sal. That's Hi. my brother-in-law. Hey, Sal. <laughs> Our clients with se sensitive scalps are loving it. They are spreading the word, and now I'm seeing more new clients. Thank you. Yes, yeah, Sal wrote to me months ago about a, a really pretty woman who was brunette. And um, he he tried everything. He did what I did. I said, try this, try that. You know, I hate when they said, tell the woman to put her, head, her head, feet on the floor and put her head upside down and then sit down and it'll stop burning. Sweet and low, this and that. I mean, there are different additives and um, there's stop the burn, all this stuff. Because beauty fusion, okay, a lot of people are sensitive to alcohol, MEA, and PPD, and resource and all. It's not in our product. Now, I did get a letter. There's one woman who said, well, I've used yours, and this woman's sensitive to this, too. Well, I'm really, that that's another issue. But Sal had amazing response from this lady who, I mean, and she's a brunette, and he didn't think anything would cover, and that she'd have a rash. She's perfect. And that makes me very happy. And people will even say to me, wow, this stuff doesn't have that funny smell. Or they'll say, oh, this, my head feels so fresh. Or, you know, and I'll tell you, my color, um, Beauty Beauty Fusion is Beecher's color and Ortego's. Beauty Fusion really holds. It's a, it's a lovely product. It is different because there's no, okay, I want you to think this is the motor. This is the gasoline that makes the motor work. This is the motor of a Volkswagen. Now, sometimes you need a car with permanent color that needs 20 volume developer and a booster to give the hair a, a bigger engine. There's, we have a cream that gives this a bigger engine. We don't need to discuss that cream today. But peroxide is not chiefly bleach. The level of lift in permanent color comes from the level of the color, not the volume of developer. And I know you're gonna tell me I'm wrong. Arnie Miller and I almost got in a fist fight about this when he had Matrix 20 years, 30 years ago. And it, no, 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 no. If you, and it's not true that if you put a level seven on everybody, everybody's gonna be a level seven. A level seven color turns gray hair, level seven. It turns level three hair, if you're using permanent color, a level five. We'll get into that later, I, 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 but I digress. Okay, think of this as Paul Mitchell, the liquid. Think of this as Deep Shine by Rusk. Think of this as Shades EQ. Think of this as Beauty Fusion, okay? I didn't say Beth's against these products. No, I'm not. But I do know that this stuff really, really made a difference in my color life. Any more, Annie? Yes. Um, Brooke Peter, Peter. Oh, Mitchell. Brooke, hi. Shades EQ sometimes feels like a film on the hair. I'm presuming she wants to know if ours does. No, well, maybe it does to her. I think Brooke lives in in West Virginia, right, Brooke? She's saying yes. She didn't. I didn't see an answer. If it's Brooke Lamaster, she lives in West Virginia. I have never had a, a coating feeling with Shades EQ. Um, no, I'm sorry. I I think sometimes no. And I there are people who do not a, a very uh, 
well-known colorist I work and I trained him. He's in New York. He refuses to shampoo Shades EQ out uh, mm -hmm. in a salon. So I attended a Shades EQ class and I sat there and the lady said, I know you, I know what you did. Don't say. I said, I won't say a word. I just came here to learn. And one of the things she mentioned is you must shampoo out Shades EQ. You must shampoo out Beauty Fusion because they do Unless you thoroughly rinse, you must give a light shampoo to stop the action of the product. Some people go, oh, Shades EQ has shampoo in it. Shades EQ lathers, but a Shades EQ instructor will tell you, you have to shampoo it out. So Brooke, if you were taught to not shampoo it out, try giving it a good rinse and uh, get a quick lather and then rinse again in condition. I hope that helps. Next question comes from Charlotte Roy. This is an easy answer. Is this a European or American color brand? What's the question? Is it made here or made in Europe? It is made in Italy. All right. All right. Susan Leroy has, says, I've color swatched all of the, the ends, the neutral series, all processed at 20 minutes with 20 volume. You've talked about this before in a previous Zoom class. The levels three, four, five are darker than in most lines. Remind me how to think and use a level five, for example. Use it as a level four question mark. Okay, first of all, thanks, Susan. Um, I will assume that when she mixed with 20 volume, she mixed, this is off our topic, guys. She's, I think she's trying to use Beauty Fusion as a permanent color, which it can be. The way I mix it, if I'm doing a swatch, is I put one ounce of color and I mix that into one ounce of 20 volume and one teaspoon of color booster. Now, for those of you in my bowl, I add the, I put the one ounce of 20 volume developer when I want to use Beauty Fusion as a permanent dye. To the one ounce of, of um, developer, I add one teaspoon of the cream color booster. And I mix that with a whisk until it's creamy smooth, like I made pudding at home, which I really don't do. <laughs> okay, then I add one ounce of the color, mix like crazy, and apply it for 30 minutes at room temperature. It is true in our neutrals, because these were made people, the biggest complaint, and I, I have never had trouble covering gray, ever, ever, with neutrals or even before there were neutrals. And you can read that in my last post on my um, conversations page. Too many companies were hit with complaints. It doesn't cover, it doesn't cover, it doesn't cover, it doesn't cover, it doesn't cover. So especially European brands where there's a lot of denser, thicker hair decided to make their end shades about three quarters of a level richer in dye load so that women would not complain it did not cover gray. So Susan, I, I will assume that you didn't just mix the 20 volume with the beauty fusion that you also added the booster. I will assume that. And um, I'm finding like even my lightest, my lightest browns, I'll use a level six when there's gray when, with our N series. Now the levels 8N, 8N, 10N, and 12N are beautiful blondes, gorgeous light blondes. But I would say when you're working with levels four, five, six, and seven, they are rich and 3N is so dark, it's almost black. Did Susan, did you mix booster with the with the beauty fusion or did you just mix it with 20 volume? Say that on there. Well, she said she mixed it with 20. So I'm thinking if she mixed it with booster, she would have told us. Yeah, that may be the problem. From Lisa, I've heard level five client, I have a level five, 10% gray. I can't read the whole thing. And which one? Lisa, a client with 10% gray level five. Do you see it, Annie? I'm looking. Okay. I, 
I see Jennifer Root has a good question. But okay, what does Jennifer say? All right, she said, how do we go about using Beauty Fusion, getting a higher level of blue violet to violet for our toners on pre-lightened hair? I would tell you that if you use our 12.1, which is our level 12 blue, and I told you the best thing we have is 9.11. That is a double blue level nine. And I just posted the other day, if you mix, if, if you wanna make a toner, I, I've used one ounce of clear, one ounce of 12.0, and a half ounce of 9.11. It's fantastic as a toner. Clear, 12.09.11. The other thing that makes a very blue silver that's very fashionable for the very interesting woman is to mix our ocean, which is blue, but it's icy blue with clear. Mm -hmm. But that's a little more fashion-y. Uh, the first formula I gave with the clear 12 0 and a half ounce of the 9.11 should help this client, uh, Jennifer, I think the best. That's all the questions I see. Okay, because there was a Lisa about. So here's what, guys, I know some of you have questions. And the last time when we had one of these, people um, said, well, I didn't get my question answered. Annie, how would you like to go about, should they contact me or should they, con what would you Why like them? Why have them email me at Annie at BeecherGroup.com and then I'll, I'll send them to you, Beth. That way you don't have to deal with them. I'll get them direct and I'll send them to you. And I can email them if you give me the answers or you can email them, we'll work I'm that happy. out. We'll do as fast as we can. And everybody, I urge you, I mean, I have, a business page, which is just Beth Minardi Hair Color, but joining Beth Minardi Conversations with Colorists is free. I let you be, and you you are touching and talking to 5,000 other colorists from around the world every day. Yes. So if you're not a member, it's free. And my website, Beth Minardi All Access is $25 a year. And that's where we go very, very deeply into color. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. And if you did, let me know, even if you learned one thing, uh, or one idea, or one new thought, um, give this a try. Soon, uh, Beth's Basics will be coming to you, and I've already done a um, chart that goes with chapter one that you can get for free that gives you all these formulas you can use as a liquid acidic demi. Call me anytime, I'm here. And email me at bethminardi at gmail.com. Annie, thank you. I want to thank Abby and uh, Justin for their help. And listen, guys, you gave up a morning or an uh, early afternoon in your life. I think the world of you, and I thank you so much. I hope you had fun, learned a little bit. And my lady up there, she's still driving that car. I don't know where she's going. Jeez. <laughs> okay, ha I hope you guys had fun, okay? Thank you, Beth. Was thank great. you. Dream big and dream in color. Bye, everybody. Good night. Good night. Okay.